Personally, I have, uh, I guess, a great debt of gratitude. Um, as most of you might know, I had uh, not too long ago, just the three short months ago, I had a, uh, a pretty bad illness. And, you know, the first while, it's, it's, you don't know where it's going. Um, <coughs> and he told my wife that he said the whole tillum, and he said the following. It says, it says in the holy books that if you say the entire Tehillim from beginning to end without interruption, you can enliven the dead. You could be Mechaya Mason. Well, and that's what he said. So uh, I guess he said it as a, as a lesson to others as well. But I guess uh, certainly something that, that he would have done. He said Tehillim every day for all his grandchildren. He uh, cared to call constantly, calling how I was, and came to visit in difficult times for him, just uh, about two months ago. Came all the way to the North Shore, came first to the hospital, came to the North Shore a few times, just to be Mavaka Chayla, just to visit and see how I'm doing. And always interested himself in the growth of Chabad House, in our personal lives. It was the total package, the total Jew. I don't know if it was mentioned, I would imagine it would have been. Um, Burma says, when she was there the last couple of weeks, he always said, it's Alma de Shikra. It's a world of falsehood. It's a false world. And uh, as my Shver says, he says, the only thing that's true is Emes Hashem al Hashem is true forever. It says in the holy books that actually before a person passes, passes away, the, the Satan tries to bring in doubts tries to make them doubt the truth of Hashem. As a matter of fact, that's why we, we say the animamins, one says animamin prior to, prior to uh, the end. To strengthen one's faith and belief in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because at that time, but that's other people maybe. You could see the, the truth, that what was true in his life, Emes Hashem Leilam, Hashem is true, that this Leilam Haza is Alma the Shikra, this world is a world of falsehood. Because for most of us, we're afraid of death. <clears throat> we're afraid of death because, because it's different. It's different because our consciousness, that is our life, is not necessarily our consciousness after 120. Our basic consciousness is our Nefesh Bahamas. That's in truth. We have a Nefesh Alakis, but Nisham HaShinasat Tabi, we say, the soul that you've given into me, who's the me? It's the Nefesh Bahamas, the Chiyunis. Our, our uh, animal soul, maybe our, our uh, vivifying soul. But there are few people who in this world live their nefesh alakis. They live their godly soul. And if that's who you are consciously in this world, then you aren't changing anything. When you pass on, you just move from one world to the next, you stay the same. Nothing's changed. And I believe... This is someone who Rabbi Feldman was. He lived in this world, he lived his nefesh alakis. He lived his godly soul. And therefore, his obviously soul was tremendous, and his simchus tremendous, his davening and learning. And so therefore we know that at the, as we mentioned, at the Levaya, Shalom's dream, is certainly, is certainly the truth. He's in a makim toiv, he's in a wonderful place, in the mechitza of the Rebbe, as we read from the Likot Diburim that was read to him, at the end. And uh, that in itself should be a comfort for all those of us who come, come after him. And we hope that our children <clears throat> learn from him and take on just somewhat of his beautiful qualities. <laughs> <laughs>